it's tearless time, baby! Hello everybody, or welcome back to my channel. I am Lucky Wolf, and today we do have the Regulation G, the VGC Regulation G rules announced, and it is a one restricted rule set. Those are words that all make sense together. So today, you know it was coming. You knew it was coming. Y'all knew it was coming. It's tier list season, and I am not immune to tier list season. So today I'm going to be doing a early meta first look tier list for Regulation G. I did play in one reg. I so far I've played in one Regulation G tour, um, and I've done a bunch of just like reg like not in a tour Regulation G battles. So I've played some. Have I used everything? No, but let's just do an early meta, let's just do an early meta list, and then I love coming back to look at how incorrect I was. So, oh, sorry, before we get into it, I do want to say, sorry, before we get into it, I do want to apologize for the lack of uploads recently. I have had a lot of family stuff, just a lot of life stuff going on. Um, I am going to be getting back into a regular upload schedule, and I really appreciate everybody's patience and everybody's support. That being said, let's hop into the tier list. Alrighty, so for the tiers, we do have S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier for content! You know, like, I, I'm, I'm gonna put Mewtwo in this, I'm gonna put Mewtwo in this tier. You know you're gonna see somebody, that somebody's me. This is literally me. And there's gonna be a video saying, are you sleeping on Mewtwo in VGC Regulation G? Mewtwo sweeps the meta in VGC Regulation G. You know, you're gonna see that from somebody, me. So that I'm gonna put Pokemon there that are going to be good for the content, if you will. And for the D tier, we do have the classic, he was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. So if you know, if you, if you know, you know. Those are the tiers we are working with today. And so I'm gonna give like a little bit of, background's not the right word. I'm gonna get, say a little something. What if I just did a tier list? <laughs> Sorry. What if I just did a tier list with no context? I just like, blah, 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 and I just speed ran it, and I just like put them in tiers and then bop called it a day. No, I'm gonna say, I'll say a little something. Maybe not a lot of something, but I'll say a little something about each. So we have Coridon. Um, I'm actually really torn. I, it, uh, okay. It feels awkward to put a Pokemon four times weak to literal Fluttermane, four times weak to Fairy in the A tier, but, but I'm gonna do it. Like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do it. Um, having a Sunsetter that doesn't, like having Coridon as a Sunsetter, that's very good. Having, here's the thing, having a Sunsetter that's not weak to Kyogre feels so nice. So I I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put Coridon there. Plus the Sun can um, really facilitate a lot of other Pokemon that have Protosynthesis like Fluttermane, like um, Walking Wake, and Pokemon that don't have Protosynthesis like Venusaur, anything like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's going in A tier. Okay. And then we have Maridon. So I actually used Maridon in the tournament, and the team itself was not particularly good, but Maridon was nutty. I was using a Specs Specs uh, variant of Maridon, like absolutely nutty. I'll put Maridon in A as well. The damage output is nuts. It, it was just, and then, and you also, so the thing about Maridon that I think is really cool is you can set your terrain, um, no sleep. That does mean no sleep because you set electric terrain. Um, but then you could also use the move Volt Switch. So that way, if your opponent wants to bring in their own terrain, whether it be their Rillaboom or whether it be their Ndidi or anything like that, you can get the Volt Switch off. They're stuck in with their terrain setter, and then you get you get to bring in whatever Pokemon you want that best fits the situation. So I think that seems I I, it, I think it seems very good to be honest. Okay, okay, Terrapagos. I like turtles. Um. Okay, so from what I've seen. Terrapagos is strong. Terrapagos is strong. But it seems like a lot of strategies around the Terrapagos are kind of protect the Terrapagos, right? Um, so you can heal it, you can set your screens, you can snarl things down to let Terrapagos set up Calm Minds and then get big spread damage off. It seems... 
It seems a little, at least early meta, and then again, this is just early meta, at least early meta, it seems a little mm, one-dimensional, I might say. I do think something spicy, like, like, show me specs Terrapagos. I don't know, like, doesn't Terra- like, Terrapagos gets pretty cool um, coverage moves like Earth Power and Dark Pulse as well. Like Shadow Rider Beware. I don't know. I think, like, I'm gonna put it in B. I'm gonna put it in B, and I wanna see a Specs Terrapagos at some point. Mewtwo, C for content, baby! I mean, d like, d I, it, it's a little lackluster. It's a little lackluster. Um, I think being weak to Shadow Rider is never going to be a good thing. We do have Terra, so you can Terra away from your weakness. Um, I'm, go I'm gonna put Mewtwo in solid C for content. Um, yeah, Lugia might have to be C for content. Oh no, I actually love Lugia. Lugia might have to be C for content. <gasps> I'm a little undecided. <sighs> I think Lugia's setup ability and wall ability, stall ability is pretty nutty. I, ooh, ooh, I'm actually so torn. I'm gonna put it in B for now. Um, I, I, no, this um, I, okay, so what am I trying to say here? What am I trying to say here? I have used a team with Ho-Oh on it. And I actually do think Ho-Oh is going to be quite good. A very bulky, very bulky Pokemon. Uh, you have the ability to go for Sacred Fire, which, as you know, has a 50% burn chance. And that just feels fantastic. That feels absolutely fantastic. You also have Recover on the Ho-Oh and or Roost. So I, I don't know. I think Ho-Oh, but then I, I, but I do feel like Lugia is not as good as Ho-Oh. I do feel Lugia is not as good as Ho-Oh. But the thing about Ho-Oh is, unless you run Terra Flying Terra Blast, I don't love that your big damage dealing flying type move does recoil to yourself. Does that make sense? I feel like Ho-Oh wants to stick around, spread burns, and just like be a bit of a menace. So, uh, mm. I have to come back to that. Kyogre! Ah! Oh, I'm so torn. Am I really gonna put Kyogre in B? Um, no. You know what? I'm not. Kyogre and Gordon Ramsay. Kyogre, Gordon Ramsay, I think are both just gonna go in A. I think that they're both the, the, the original weather setters, the original weather war. I think they're both very good. Like, Kyogre being a, like, water spout. Water spout. Specs or mystic water, water spout in rain with Chiyu, beads of ruin, all that kind of good stuff. I... It's still gonna be strong. It's still gonna be very, very strong. Um, Water Ogre Pollen does appear to exist, which I think makes it a little bit tougher, but you can run Ice Beam, you can run Thunder even if you wanted. Like, I, I think Kyogre is gonna be strong. Um, I think Groudon is also gonna be strong. It's. Uh, wait, we got two Sunsetters? We got two Restricted Sunsetters? Okay, gaming. Um, I think like big ground type moves. I think big ground type moves are always going to be good on the on the Groudon. It's really, can you hit your blades? Can you hit those nasty precipice blades? I think that's what it's gonna come down to, but I think Groudon is gonna be incredible. We also, like, we got clear amulet, and not being able to be not being able to be intimidated in not being able to be intimidated down, I think is fantastic. Additionally, um, you can also have something like Coaching Mian Chao. You can have something like Howl Gouging Fire um, to be able to keep boosting you up. I don't know. I, I I think it's I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be very good. Oh, am I really gonna put you in C for content? There ain't no way. There ain't no. I'm gonna put you in B. I'm, I'm gonna put you in B. I think that. I, I, I've, I've been talking to I've been talking to people, and I think Rayquaza is going to be better in a dual restricted format. I think in a single restricted format, it's like kind of like we have um, Dragonite. You know, it's like we we do still have Dragonite, and Dragonite doesn't have to run something like Clear Amulet to avoid the Intimidates. I will say Dragon Ascent, like Swords Dance, E Speed, and Dragon Ascent. Yikes, that is powerful. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna install B. I'm gonna put it in Sol B. Wait, we got the hor- We got the horses? What is this? 
What is this? What is that? It's a horse. I'm gonna put it in C. Okay, Dialga. Here's the thing about Dialga. Here's the thing about Dialga. Dynamax broke my brain. Um, please let me know down below if Dynamax also broke your brain. Um, Dynamax broke my brain, so when I see Dialga, I'm like, oh dang. Max Steel Spike, increase your defenses? Yes. Uh, Max Quake, increase your Spadef? Yes. A uh, Max Wormwind, decrease your opponent's um attack stat? Yes. But no, we don't have that. This, this is just a Dialga. So Dialga does get Trick Room. Dialga is good in two. You know, you know, you know. I still think Dialga's B. I still think Dialga's B. These are not ordered in B. I think it would have to be something, no. I don't know. I'm just really on the fence about Lugia. I'm sorry. We got a horse. We got another horse. C for content. I'm gonna put the horse in C for content. Okay. We got Palkia. And I think a similar thing about Polkia that I think about... I think a similar thing about Polkia that I think about Dialga... But Palkia might be C for content. Because I think Dialga's typing is very good. I think that's very- I mean, I think Palkia's typing is also very good. But... Hmm. I feel like being weak to both Dragon and Fairy, whereas Dialga takes neutral damage... I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, put Palkia in C for content. Okay, the, the Giratinas, the Giratinas, the Giratinas. So the Giratinas, they can't be faked out. That's, that's very real. I think that's always a good thing. You don't have to be cloaked covertly. You don't have to have Giraffe or Terrain on your side to not be getting faked out. Like, we're gonna have so much fake out in this meta. So I think just being, a, like, inherently being a ghost type and not being able to be faked out kind of stonks, you know? Um, Shadow Sneak, also good. What if I put them in B? What, what if, what if I just clicked and put them in B? They might be C for content. They truly might be C for, am I really gonna put, I, this tool list doesn't even make sense. Um, I think all these have to be in B. Unless I put them in C for content. Uh, Reshiram and Zekrom. Zekrom, I, I, like, has to just be C for content, I think. Same with, you just have to be C for content. Um, Reshiram and Kira, like, I'm gonna do it. I, Snow got a huge buff this gen, right? Um, Snow got a pretty big buff. Just being able to spam Blizzard is kind of insane. You also have access to things like Earth Power to hit the mons that don't, that resist Blizzard. I, uh, yeah, yeah the, B, B. Like, what if I put, what if I put Reshiram in B because Reshiram's a cutie? Does that fit with everything? Does that fit with everything? Like, you're also going in C. Honestly, you might, yeah, you're going to see, you're going in C for content. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm just getting this out of the way. I just, I was just doing the easy ones first. Just getting those out of the way. Okay. I actually kind of do like Reshiram. I think, okay, so there's a lot of these Pokemon, there's a lot of these Pokemon that I really do think if you, if you can find, if there's an opening in the meta and you can find a way to pilot or a good pilot for some of these more niche Pokemon, we'll call them, like some of these C for content Pokemon, um, I think that they can do really, really well, to be completely honest with you. Like, there's- I, okay, this doesn't make sense. I think you have to be an A. Like, this- like, this- like, this, like there's- there, there's no way the, the, yeah, the, no, this is just like- no. But like, also, what if I did this? You can't see. Sorry, I'm right on. Okay, what if I did that? You know, what if I did- no. Well- Look, we'll come back to it. Um, Solga might have to be C for content. Again, Solgaleo is another one of those Pokemon that... 
Solkaleo is another one of those Pokemon that it kind of feels like Dynamax broke my brain. You know, like, um, weakness policy sold where you can't be intimidated and you can't be parting shot, and then you can also go for Max Quake and Max Steel Spike to increase your defenses. It's just like, yikes. It's just like, that's yikes. Um, but we don't have that now. There, th that, that does not exist now. So... And B. Ah! Uh, I'm putting a little in A. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you all something? I'm putting Lunala in A. I think Lunala, in this early meta, is very good. You have access to Tailwind. You have access to, to the Room of Tricks. You have access to Wide Guard. Like, uh, you have Shadow Shield. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm just gonna say, I... <laughs> Those aren't words. It's A, 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 and I want, I want no questions. Um, these two might have to be C for content. These two might have to be C for content. I'm, I'm... Still A. Like, 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 okay, okay, here's the thing about Zacian. Zacian's no longer the main character, you know, right? Zacian did, uh, have a pretty big nerf. Zacian did lose 20 attack points, as well as a Sword of Ruin only activates once. However, Zacian's typing is so good. Zacian's typing is really incredible. You have access to Sword Stance, you have access to Substitute, you have access to Play Rough, you have access to Sacred Sword, you have access to Behemoth Blade. Like, I, I don't, I, I still think... I still think it's good, and just like kind of I was saying with Groudon, um, you know, you can have a partner that goes for coaching or that goes for Howl to just kind of be increasing your damage output to make it really hard for your opponent to keep up with the Intimidates and everything like that. So, A, 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 A. Am I biased? Yes, A. Okay, but here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Okay, this is probably C for content. This is probably C for content. Zalma, can I be honest? A. A. Yo, I'm biased, though. Y'all know... Any Pokemon that gets Iron Defense and Body Pressed, I'm like, yes, that Pokemon, that is a good Pokemon right there. It just, it's just kind of wild to me because, like, Intimidates don't matter because Body Press is based on your defenses. Parting Shot doesn't matter. Body Press is based on your defenses. I don't, it just feels incredible. You also have access to things like Snarl. You have access to things like Rhydeguard. You have access to things like Behemoth, I can't even say, Behemoth Bash. Like, I, really good bulk as well. Like, I, Hey, hey, you heard it, you heard it, you heard it, you heard it. Okay, now we've, okay, but here's the thing, here's the thing. I said it, I did it, I said it. Leftovers. Like, you don't get the instant defense boost, but you could get healing every turn. I don't know, I'll put it there. I said what I said. Um, I think a lot of people aren't ready for the stall. I think people aren't ready for the- like, in early meta, I don't think people are ready for the stall of Eternatus. Um... Can be a really tough Pokémon, can be a very, very tough Pokémon to take down. Uh, we also have, like, really tremendous... Just in this meta right now, we have really tremendous support in screens from Grimmsnarl, in screens from Sableye, plus you would get Prankster Will-O-Wisp, um, in... Pokemon like Sinistra, in Pokemon like Comfy, in Pokemon like Amoongus, that can also just be an absolute pain to deal with. Even in Pokemon like Clefairy. Um, I, I, I just think that we have such, and, and Pokemon like me and Chao as well, I just think we have such good support that this Pokemon can be a problem. And now we got the horses. Now we got the horses, I, 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 I'm just, I'm doing it. Early meta, absolutely. Early, oh. Early meta, absolutely. That's an S tier. That's that is an S tier Pokemon. Um. So the big thing about Ice Rider is not only do you have a Trick Room Sweeper, but you have your Trick Room Setter. Like to me, that's crazy. So you can set your own Trick Room, and then Tihi, you can sweep as well. You have spread damage that's one hundred percent accurate. You also have access to high horsepower. You are a horse, so it does make sense. Um, you have access to high horsepower for pesky fire types. You can run something like Clear Amulet so that. Um, your opponent can't even parting shot off you, can't even intimidate. Like, it just feels- you also have sword stance. If you think your opponent wants to play really passive, you can punish that by going for a sword stance. Like, it just feels incredible. It feels like such a good tool for Trick Room. Additionally, you have Ghost Rider, and it's just like... 
What a Pokemon. What a Pokemon. And now? So, so, the, so the big thing is now with Terra, I do think Terra makes this Pokemon even better. So you have Ndidi to set your own terrain. You can click Expanding Force. You can click um, Astral Barrage as well. You get a boost every time you pick up a KO, Wild. And like, what if you just Terra Fairy? What if you just go Fairy Terra and now you are, now you resist the dark type moves that your opponent is going for? It just, it's like nutty. It's nutty. And again, with Ghost Horse, um, Ghost Horse also has access to Trick Room, just, just as a note. Um, but also with Ghost Horse, even if you don't have your terrain, you're immune to fake out. So it's like they can't, they can't even fake you out to mitigate the damage, you know, unless they're scrappy. But yeah, so I honestly, I think, I think this is kind of where I'm sitting early meta. I, looking at this tier list, I don't know if it, I, there are, there are some choices that I made. There are some real choices that I made on this tier list. But thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please let me know in the comments down below what do you think of early meta Regulation G? Have you started playing any Regulation G? All that kind of good stuff. I will have more Reg G content come into the channel. Oh, additionally, I do have some, I do have uh, some Reg F content that I just like recorded and edited and is ready to go. It may get one view. It may simply get one view, and that's totally fine to the one person who does view it. I appreciate you. I see you, and I appreciate you. But I did work hard on it, and I kind of want to post it. So we'll be doing we'll be doing a mix of Reg F and Reg G content for probably the next month because I'm excited about Reg G. I don't know. It's like I love being able to use the the legends, the big box legends with their special moves, like and their special abilities. I personally love being able to use them. So. I'm really excited for this regulation, uh, so I'll have a mix of Reg F and Reg G content coming in the next month. And uh, once again, thank you all so much for the support on the YouTube. I really do appreciate that. If you did enjoy the content at any time, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. If not, there's definitely none of that. And I hope everybody has an absolutely amazing rest of the day. Okay, that's it for me. Bye!